My first car was a 77 Chevy Caprice Classic. Before I owned it, it lived its whole life in and around Reno, Nevada, until I drove it the almost 600 miles to my home in Portland, Oregon. Within a week of it living in the continuous rain, sleet, and mist that is the Pacific Northwest, the electric motor for the passenger window died, as did both of the electric seats. So for the rest of the time that I drove that car, I had to use phone books and pillows in order to reach the pedals. True story. Fortunately, we don't have to deal with those kind of motor control issues anymore. Only now, we have 35 different motors to deal with, and they all target different parts of the car, require different communication methods, power requirements, and temperature grades. Phew. But at least no phone books are involved. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Today's complex automotive designs require a wide range of motor control and system ICs to deliver the features that customers demand. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Michael Williams from Infineon joins me to explore how Infineon's Modix motor control solutions can help you simplify your next automotive design. We take a closer look at the Modix embedded power system on chip for motor control. The benefits that the Modix embedded power IC can bring to your next design and how you can get started with your next motor control design with Infineon's Modix motor control solutions. And before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. Hi, Mike. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about the Modix motor control solutions today. But Mike, before we dig into the details, can you walk me through what all is included in this family? Yes, absolutely. So the Modix product offering is really designed for automotive motor control applications, and it consists of four different devices in the portfolio. You have the Modix driver. The Modix driver has several different configurations that exist. One is designed specifically for brushed motor control and the other one for BLDC motor control. You have the Modix Bridge, and the Modix Bridge is really integrating the gate driver and MOSFETs into a single product offering. It's called the Nova Plus, and within the Nova Plus, you have configurations for half bridge, you have full bridge configurations for bi-directional brushed DC motor control, and then of course, multi-half bridge configurations for multi-motor control. You have as well the Modix SBC or system basis chip, and this combines the power portion of the device, which integrates power for the gate drivers as communication, the communication protocol or communication interface, and gate drivers to control multiple different switches. And then you have the Modix MCU, and that will be the core of the discussion today. And the Modix MCU integrates the microcontroller as well as power, communication, and gate driver into a single embedded power solution. Fantastic. Now, Mike, what kind of applications do you see these kind of motor control and system ICs being a good fit for? Yeah, it's interesting. In the automotive market, we're seeing a general transition from brush DC motor control to BLDC motor control, where you have a three-phase inverter in the application. And so the list of applications that we see on here tend to be some of the higher powered applications in the application where the Modix MCU product offering fits very nicely. So for example, your pump applications for fuel pump, water pump, or oil pump, or your fan applications that you would typically see for cooling fan and or your HVAC blower in the application. And in general, the market is growing at approximately 9% per year for BLDC motors. And we see this continuing as we transition from internal combustion motors, our engines into your electric vehicle platforms of the future. And in fact, we'll see a significantly higher content of inverterized motors in those solutions as you start talking about the cooling requirements for the inverter and or the battery systems of future electric vehicles. Cool. Now, Mike, can we take a closer look at the Modix solutions, especially in the BLDC and brushed motor space? 
So this provides a good overview of the content that's typically in the Modix MCU platform, specifically for BLDC motor control. So what you see here is an overview of the core components integrated into a single chip solution or embedded solution. So you have the motor control MCU, you have the communication interface that could be LAN or CAN FD, you have the supporting functionality, which is your IO inputs. You have your power supply, which is going to provide the power to control the device as well as drive the gate circuitry. And then you have your three-phase inverter gate driver configuration, which consists of three half-bridge drivers. And then this really allows you from a single device to control a wide variety of motor loads, you know, ranging from you know, the low watt range all the way up to around one kilowatt. So it's really suitable for many different applications, allowing you to use a single device in all those different applications. Okay, cool. Now, Mike, earlier you mentioned an embedded power IC as part of the Modix MCU. So can we talk about that aspect of the solution a bit more? Yeah, the Modix MCU or embedded power IC really combines a couple different sections into the design. So specifically, you have the power supply, which includes your power supply for the gate driver circuitry. You have all your sensing inputs that could be digital inputs or analog inputs, as well as inputs for sensors, for example, Hall or persistent sensors. You have the integrated MCU in the design, which could be the Cortex-M0 or Cortex-M3, of course, the memory associated with that. And then you have your gate driver configuration, which could be common a couple different configurations, but for BLDC motors, there are three half-bridge drivers in that device. And then, of course, your communication interfaces. That could be LIN, UART, or SPI interfaces. Okay, so Mike, if my audience is specifically interested in motor control here, what do you have to get them started? Yeah, I'm happy to announce the introduction of the motor control kit. And this kit is specifically designed to make evaluation of the Modex MCU or embedded IC product offering extremely easy. It includes its own motor, sensors are integrated, and all you have to do is basically connect power to this device and connect it to your PC. And in less than an hour, you can be controlling a motor at your home or in your lab. Okay, so what all is included in this motor control kit? So this kit actually includes a variety of Infineon products. So in the middle of this board, you actually see the Modex MCU. And then over here on the right, you can see the six MOSFETs, which are Infineon MOSFETs for the three-phase inverter. And then, of course, in the motor, we actually have hall sensors and angle sensors integrated. So this kind of combines all of the solutions that you need for a BLDC motor into a single evaluation platform. The Modix motor control kit is really an evolution of an evaluation platform that we've had in the marketplace. So we have the existing TLE 9879 evaluation kit. And the motor control kit really just adds the addition of the motor and sensor interface into the product offering. So if a customer is interested in just controlling their own motor and doesn't need an integrated motor with sensors from Infineon, then you can take the TLE 9879 evaluation kit to do evaluation in your application. But if you want a completed solution, plug and play, then the motor control kit is the way to go. Okay, great. So what about the embedded power for these kind of motor control applications? Yeah, what's unique about the Modix Embedded Power Product Offering, or Modix MCU, is really that it consists of four different configurations. In the top left, you have the driver relay configuration, uh, designed primarily for window lift applications or sunroof. In the top right, you have the half-ridge configuration, which is designed for unidirectional brushed motor control. Typically see that in a fuel pump application or some fan applications. In the bottom left, you see the H-bridge configuration or full bridge configuration. This is designed specifically for bi-directional motor control in brush DC motors. The latest generation of devices, which is in the bottom right, called the BLDC motor control or the TLE-987 product offering. And this includes a three-phase inverter topology to drive BLDC motors. Okay, so... Mike, can we circle back to an automotive design and take a closer look at some sample applications in that arena? Yeah, one of the new applications that we're seeing is a transition of the engine cooling fan to BLDC motors from their legacy brush motors. And so the TLE-987 product offering really offers some significant advantages in terms of shrinking the overall package, 
making the drive circuitry very compact while providing you flexibility to control different size motors and different vehicles. And so one of the key advantages of this particular product offering is that it has the capability of different temperature grades, either grade zero for high temperature applications or grade one for standard temperature applications, and then the flexibility to control a wide variety of motor loads up to one kilowatt. So another application for the Modex MCU product offering is the fuel pump application. You really have two different types of motors that are used in the fuel pump application, your legacy brush DC motor control, and then the new introduction of PLDC motor control for improved reliability and performance. Looking at the left, you see the TLE 98.5 series. This is designed as a half bridge configuration for unidirectional brushed motor control, versus on the right, you see the TLE 98.7 series, and this is designed for your three-phase motor control applications. Another application for the broad portfolio of the Modex MCU product offering is window lifts or sunroof actuation. We have two different configurations that are suitable for this. You have your older style, which would typically use a relay to drive the window motor. And so we have a specific device for that application. And then we also have the H-Brig configuration, which is the TLE 98.5 series, which is designed for bi-directional motor control of brushed DC motors. And a final application for motor control within the automotive application space is the wiper application. And here you have two different configurations. You have your legacy brush DC motor control where you have an H-bridge configuration for bi-directional motor control with the TLE 98.6 series. And then if you're looking to implement BLDC motors for your next generation wiper application, then we have the TLE 98.7 series, which is designed specifically for three-phase inverter topologies of BLDC motors. So, Mike, earlier you mentioned brushless motor control. So what kind of benefits would this Modix embedded power IC bring to the table specifically in this case? Yeah, the Modix embedded power IC is really about integration. So because you're combining all the core aspects of the motor control into a single chip solution, it allows you a lot of flexibility. So in the latest generation of devices, in the Modix MCU product offering, we integrate the Cortex M3 processor. We also have an integrated power supply in the device, suitable for 5.5 volts all the way up to 28 volt applications. We have integrated memory, so flash up to 256 kilobytes, RAM up to eight kilobytes, integrated LAM transceiver. And then, as I mentioned previously, this device is available in two different temperature configurations, grade one and grade zero, depending on the requirements of your application. So this provides you a solution that's really ideal for a number of applications, really targeting the BLDC marketplace, focusing on fuel pump applications, water and oil pumps, and then fan applications like HVAC and engine cooling fan, and of course, the wiper app operation. So here in the Modix MCU product offering, I really wanted to highlight some particular features of this device with respect to motor control. So in this device, you have three comparators for sensorless FOC motor control. You also have a 10-bit ADC for current measurement. We have an integrated current sense amplifier with single shunt measurement. And then, of course, the gate drivers integrated in the device have enough drive current to power MOSFETs for applications suitable up to one kilowatt. So this is a completely integrated solution without the MOSFETs integrated, so it provides you flexibility to control or select different MOSFETs for your application depending on the power level that you choose to use this device at. Great. So, Mike, where are we going from here? Do you guys have any plans for this Modix family for the future? Yeah, the Modix MCU product offering is a product that has been in development for a long time. It's been in the market for a long time, so we have a very proven reliability of this device. And the nice thing about the Modix portfolio is that we have a product roadmap with introduction of new features and functionality. So looking at 2023, we have the introduction of a new package, a 64-pin version, allowing you to have additional I.O. in the application. We also introduced CAN and CAN FD functionality for communication. And then from our software perspective, we'll have A cell B qualification and then the integration of additional security functionality in the device. Here you see a good overview of the Modix Embedded Power product portfolio. And what you see on the left is a smart relay all the way through the latest generation of devices in the smart BLDC motor control application. We are continually working on new devices for this product offering. So you can see the devices that are coming out in 2023 with the introduction of the Cortex M3, as well as the CAN-FD functionality for communication. So stay tuned for additional products being released in this product portfolio as we continue to add new features into this product offering. 
So as a recap, the Motex embedded power solutions is really a broad product offering consisting of several different devices in the portfolio. Today's discussion, we focused mostly on the Motex MCU product offering for brush DC and BLDC motors. But again, there are multiple different devices that exist. We have the Motex driver, which is integrating just drivers into the device for both brushed and BLDC motor applications. We have the Modex Bridge, which integrates the gate driver and the MOSFETs into a single solution. Here we have configurations in a half bridge or multiple half bridge configurations for multiple motor control. And then of course your full bridge configuration for brushed bi-directional DC motor control. As you bring additional integration into the solution, we introduce the Modex SBC or system basis chip solution. And here you bring in the power communication and gate driver into a single solution. And then the highest level of integration is the Modex MCU product offering. And this combines motor control, power, communication, and gate driver into the single integrated solution of the Modex MCU. And of course, we also have a complete portfolio of software for the Modex MCU, specifically with added functionality to go along with the release of the next generation of Modex MCU in 2023. So please check back with us for further details. So Mike, can we take a closer look at each of these Modex solutions specifically for low voltage motor control? Yeah, here you see an overview of the Modex product offering and specifically looking at the block diagrams of different low voltage motor control applications. So you have the Modex driver here, which is just a single integrated driver in this case for a BLDC motor control. Then you have the Modex SBC, which is system basis chip configuration. This is combining your power supply, your communication interface, and the gate drivers here for BLDC motor control. We have the Modex Bridge product offering, or also known as the Nova Plus, and this integrates together the MOSFETs and the gate drivers, so both power and control into a single solution, and the Modex MCU, which is the main product that we discussed during this presentation. This combines your power supply, your user interface, and communication, your MCU, as well as your gate drivers for BLDC motor control applications. Great. Well, Mike, this was a lot to take in today. Can you recap your main points for me? Yes, the Infineon Modex MCU product offering is really focused on motor control applications, both in the BLDC as well as brush DC application space, targeting applications, generally one kilowatts and below. And it's about integrating the solution into a very cost-effective compact solution, which is optimized for low voltage motor control applications. The product features a Cortex M0 or M3 processor, which provides you a lot of capability for your application. This is also backed by a new product roadmap where we're introducing new devices in 2023 focused on more MCU compute power, as well as the integration of CAN or CAN FD communication. And all of this is supported by a global structure of FAEs and support from Infineon and backed by Infineon's excellent quality in the automotive space. Excellent. All right, Mike, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Infineon. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com slash eejournal.